welcome back to She of Three Angels. This is Lori. And what do we have here? I know, something totally different for my channel, right? So, um, in this paper crafting biz, there is this stuff called Glimmer Mist and alcohol inks that I have been introduced to. And of course, I like to have budget-friendly glimmer mists and alcohol inks. So with that said, let me show you. I have already made some glimmer mist. This was actually alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol, and it was an eyeshadow. And um, I had a duplicate of an eyeshadow kit and I thought, you know what, this purple would be really, really pretty. So this is a purple. And this one, let me see. This one is actually, and I'm shaking it up because the stuff settles at the bottom. But this one was a metallic purple marker. So that's that one. You can't see the metallic very well, but you can see the... Um, marker bits in there. I left them in there. Um, it was just easier for me to leave them in there just to let them settle. And they have actually settled for a long time. So these are going to probably pre be pretty dark. Um, normally 24 to 48 hours and the alcohol saturates the whole entire filter that's inside that marker and you have yourself some alcohol ink. So that was that one. This one is just a plain Sharpie, so it is the color red. Again, you can still see that I have the filters in there. It doesn't harm it having it inside the bottle, but this is orange, I believe. And this one is green. So this is a green permanent marker. It's not the Glimmer Mist. So I have two Glimmer Mists here. And I have um, two of the alcohol inks. But what I wanted to do before I show you the end results of these ones is I wanted to show you how I make them. And I did, this isn't my idea. There's a bunch of YouTube videos out there that everybody is doing their own DIY alcohol inks or glimmer mists. So with that said, you can see that I have a lot of supplies here. The one videos that I did see is that a lot of the ladies were using the LA Color eyeshadow pots, these loose powders. And you can see that I have two extras of the Snow White. I thought that it would be nice if I had an alcohol ink that maybe I had a duplicate color of. I can add the Snow White to it and then that would give me like a glimmer mist with the permanent markers. So. I did pick up two extras of these, and everybody knows um, these can be purchased at the Dollar Tree. So a dollar for some eyeshadow, and there's plenty of eyeshadow in here to stretch it out over a couple bottles. And these two colors I have not done yet, so I have them out, and I think I'm going to go ahead and continue recording while I make these colors. So that way you guys can kind of see the process a couple times, and I'll just speed up through that and loop it. I don't have any blue Glimmer Mist, but I did remember that I have this blue Milani pot, and this color is Misty Blue. But I don't have anything in a blue mist powder, so that's why I'm doing blue today. And then I did want to show you, I have this Hard Candy eyeshadow palette that I got maybe a year or two ago after um, Christmas that came in one of those gift sets. But this one has a blue in it that I want to go ahead and use. It's pretty close to this blue, so I don't know if I'm going to do both of them or not. But I just kind of wanted to show you that if you have anything like these eyeshadow kits that you have extra or you're not using, you can turn those into glimmer mists. I have been told um, by a reliable source that the eyeshadow powder is like a mica powder and that's pretty much what they use for the um, glimmer mist is a mica powder. So with that I'm showing you those and then I found a sharpie that I have. 
I want to go ahead and make a permanent um, alcohol ink in this color. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make that for you guys. And the supplies that I needed is I do need some empty spray bottles. I bought these off of Amazon. These are only 20 mLs. They're not the big, huge bottles, but um, I do like them. Um, they're small, and I, I don't want, I don't think that the ink would go bad in here, but um, I just, you know, figure go with a smaller bottle and maybe like a, if I do a white or um, a uh, glimmer mist in like a, a cream color, then maybe that would be something I would do in a bigger bottle. I also have my hairspray here and I have my alcohol, so um, I will be using that. And the reasons I have the hairspray is with the powdered eyeshadows, if you don't add a binder, maybe if you have Mod Podge or if you have um, school glue, something like that, just put a little bit in it and that will give you a binder for the powder. Without the, pow without the binder, the powder actually just comes right off. So you're spraying it and if somebody were to touch it, they would have all this glitter all over their hands. So that's the reasons why I'm using the hairspray. And I also have some wipes here to clean up the mess, and I have some paper here to test and to pour the powder into the bottles. I have my handy dandy little jewelry um, pliers here, and those are going to help me with my Sharpie. I have seen on some of the YouTube channels that a lot of the women go ahead and pre-mix their... Um, glimmer mists or their alcohol inks in a plastic cup. These you can buy at the Dollar Tree and you can get quite a few in a container or a package. I think it's, let me see, I have one right here. It's this package, it's nine fluid ounces and there's 28 in here. So I have some of these on hand and I don't know, I haven't used them. I've just done the putting them in the bottle. So if you need these, you can mix all this stuff in here and then pour it into the bottle. So it's just, I don't know, I don't want it open while it's trying to settle and soak up. So, um, and I don't want to go in there and mess around with it. I would rather just kind of set it and forget it kind of thing, you know? So there's some cups and my wipes to clean up my mess. So let me go ahead and get these opened. So let me go ahead and get started with just the um, the Sharpie and the alcohol ink. It's one of the easiest steps. Now I did watch one video where the lady said it is a good idea to snip the bottom of these at an angle and that will actually help prevent your um, powders from clogging up the spray part of it. So. I went ahead and as you can see, it doesn't hit the bottom quite, but it is at an angle and so um, that way it will not clog. So I'm going to have to go back and clip all my other little bottles because I didn't learn that till after those were done. So here's my Sharpie. And what I'm going to do, let me see, is this, a lot of people wear gloves. I don't wear gloves. Just get down and dirty with the uh, the crafting, you know? Okay, maybe I'm not going to use this marker. I already ruined the tip. Yeah, this one's not working. Alright guys, this one's not working, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that one away. 
so since I ruined that Sharpie, I'm not sure why it wouldn't come apart. I went ahead and grabbed my other Sharpies. Actually, you know what? This green one, I don't think I have this green. So let me try to save face and use that green. Let me see which one is. and juicy so does that one so we'll save this one because this one seems to have a little bit better of a tip on it and we'll use this one because I think the tip kind of got jankied on that so we'll use that one all right back to tearing the pen apart so you're supposed to take the tip off and it should come out quite easy See that and then I just put it inside my little jar so it's in there waiting for the rest of the pen and here is let me show you I'll throw that piece away so here's the filter that's inside the marker the marker can get thrown away and what I do with this is I will actually cut this thing up and I like cutting it up into fours and I think that's because I got these small bottles the 20 milliliters I think a 30 would have been better but so I'm cutting that up into fours and then these are going to go inside here as well So now I have them in there. I'm going to try to get them all down towards the bottom. So there they are, all towards the bottom. You can even see the ink starting to come off on the inside of the jar. So I'm going to take my alcohol. And with that, let me get out my paper towel. I have some paper towel here. And I'm just going to pour until I get to a spot where I'm comfortable. And I usually fill it up quite a bit if you saw my other bottles. But as you can see, that ink is already coming out of the filters. So I'm already starting to get colored alcohol. Sometimes I get some leaks. I think that's just from the bottle. So what I'll do is I will let this sit for 24 to 48 hours before I can take actually a while use. for the alcohol to permeate into those filters and get all that ink out. So there's several ways that you can do this. If you want it more concentrated, maybe not add as much alcohol in it. Or if you want this amount, maybe add two markers. So that way you can um, get a darker color or you can do a lighter color. There's endless possibilities to that. And it looks like I did not cut my straw short enough. So I'm probably gonna have to go back in there and cut that a little bit shorter. So there's the start of that one soaking. So see, that's like really easy peasy. There's not a lot of rocket science to it. It's not like you have to add a ton of different chemicals to make it work and here they charge eight to twelve dollars for those alcohol inks or the um glimmer mist. so now what i'm doing is i'm just folding my paper and i'm kind of making it into almost kind of like a funnel because now we are going to work with my powdered eyeshadows and making some glimmer mist out of it so now we're going to cut that tip again and just a little bit shorter. Looks like right about there maybe. This time I'm going to try it before I, yeah, so that one's shorter. That's how short that other one needed to be. And so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and put the hairspray in first. 
Oh no. Little stinker is hard to pull off. So I can show you how much hairspray I add as the binder. Actually, that's a little bit too much. So I added about that much. Can you guys see that? It is about that. Okay. And that's the hairspray. And now I'm going to add the alcohol, but I want to leave room for the powder. So right now I'm only going to fill it right up to there. So that way um, I have room for the powder. And this Milani is like already all broken up. So, and I like to use a lot of powder. And that's a lot right there. So we're going to use that. But I'll show you the trick on the LA Colors, what I had to do with those ones, because there's a little bit of stuff you have to do to that one. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pour them in there. Hopefully not make too big of a mess. Okay, and as you can see, it's already falling down to the bottom. And you can see that it's already kind of changing the mixture of the fluid that's in there. I'm going to add a little bit more alcohol because I want it full. And shake and there is my blue absolutely gorgeous I am so glad I put this together make sure these lids your nozzles and lids are on tight so there's the blue and let me show you what that looks like I'll grab a new piece of paper And that way you can see what it looks like. Okay, now it takes a little bit for that alcohol and hairspray to dry. But can you see that glimmer coming through? I hope you guys can. I should probably get my heat tool out. Right, you guys so can you guys see that glimmer on there that blue and of course I can spray over it again if I want it a little bit darker but this is the reasons that I'm creating these glimmer mists for myself this is a good way to accent your paper crafts or any kind of crafting that you do and let me show you because of the hairspray, not a lot of the ink, not a lot of the powder comes off. That's very minimal compared to without the without the hairspray. So there's the blue. And remember I was gonna do this eyeshadow. I know you guys are probably freaking out that I'm getting rid of the eyeshadow, but uh, I don't I don't blue. generally wear blues and that's a little bit darker than what I would wear on my my eyes, so I'm okay with getting rid of that blue. I'll save all the other colors though. The other colors will be nice to have. So I'm trimming that end off. And I got my handy dandy little stick here. But first I need my paper.
So again, my hairspray. And yes, I'm using Aussie. I, you can use, I think, any hairspray. Um, the reasons why I'm using this one is because the nozzle went down on it. I can't get anything out of it. And it's been sitting for a long, long time. So I figured, why not use it up in my craft stuff? Okay, there's that. Here I go, pouring that powder in. See how it's getting all sparkly again already? So this one looks like it's going to be a lot darker. And I want to shake this one up really well because when these are pressed like this in these pots, um, you can see that it looks a little more granulated in there, right down there. So it just needs to be shaken up really well. And you'll start seeing that the granulations will start going away. So I'm going to give this one a test and see what it does. Let's close this. As you can tell, this one has sparkle to it, but it doesn't have as much color or um, glimmer as this one does. So what I may do is I may go ahead, you can see it's already settling. I may go ahead and add the rest of that pot into here. Actually, let's go ahead and do that and see if it changes. So this is that one. A little off camera here, but I kind of want to keep these together. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and zip through these two just to keep on showing you guys how this is done. And then we'll do a little spray test at the end.
So here are the three colors that I just worked on for you guys today. Actually for me too because I'm the one who gets to enjoy them. So I'm really happy with like these loose shadow pots. Um, they definitely do come out a lot more dark than or a lot more glimmery than this one does. Um, this one still looks like it's granulated quite a bit, but let's go ahead and test out what these look like on paper. And then I'll show you these alcohol inks too. So let me get rid of these. Clean up my mess. Glitter, glitter everywhere. And I love this mat. This is one of those craft mats. Um, permanent ink does not stain it, believe it or not. And it washes off right away. So, alright. So these are the alcohol inks. Let's go ahead and see what these look like. And this has been sitting for almost, I think, a week. If not a couple days. So that's the green and the alcohol ink. This is orange. So there's orange. And remember, these were just the permanent markers and alcohol. So there's both of those. Let's go over the Glimmer Mists now. So this was that blue one, the Milani eyeshadow one. I kind of want to get this covered quite a bit so you guys can see it. And with that alcohol in it, these dry really quick. So there's the blue Milani. This is the Blue Hard Candy Eyeshadow Palette. And remember, I added the extra, so let's see if that changed the consistency at all. It still looks a little granulated, and I don't mind that. I just hope that the mist, the sparkly part comes out, and I, I see quite a bit of sparkle in this. Not as concentrated of a color. If you look here, you got some really nice color there. But this one, you can see the sparkle. It looks a little granulated. Might be good for a light accent, not something darker. This was the LA Colors. And this one is the Radiant. This is the darker one. Nice coppery color. Oh, I really like that. So this is the Radiant. And can you guys see the sparkle come through on that? I hope you guys are seeing this. And this one is the Honeysuckle. So it's a lighter color. But if you remember how much of the loose powder that I used, I think that will determine how dark it's going to be. Here's that honeysuckle, and it doesn't have a lot of color, but it definitely has a lot of shimmer. And I'm wondering if this would look like really good on like a darker piece of paper. 
So let me see. I've got a dark piece of paper here. Let's see how this looks on that darker piece of paper. So that's what it's going to look like on a darker piece of paper. It's just more shimmery. There's not a lot of color. And here it is on the white. So you guys can get an idea of both of those. So there's that one. And then this one was a purple eyeshadow I wanted to show you guys. I believe this came out of another hard candy set that I had. So see, I had to shake it up because all of that color gets stuck at the bottom, the glittery stuff. Ooh, that sprayed up pretty quick. So here is that purple, this one. And last but not least, this one I'm really curious to find out because this was the metallic Dollar Tree markers and this is a purple. So I'm curious to find out how the metallic is going to come out. And this is the purple. You can see that. Okay, so this is just the purple metallic, and I'm not seeing any kind of metallicness to it. Does that make sense? So with something like this, if I wanted to, I could add some of that Snow White um, LA Colors powder, and then that will give me that misty or that shimmery look that I'm looking for. So as an idea, this is what that purple metallic marker looks like. So this is the green permanent marker, orange permanent marker. This is the purple metallic marker. This is an eyeshadow, um, the hard candy eyeshadow, and this one was also a hard candy eyeshadow. And these three were actually the LA Colors um, eyeshadow. So. I really like the way that these LA Colors ones turned out. And, oh, look it. So this is the one that I just did with you guys, and it's already getting darker and darker. Let's go ahead and try that. This is the one that we just did today. And as you can see, it is pretty dark. And that was maybe done a few moments ago. But this was the Dollar Tree permanent marker in the lighter green. So I really like the way these alcohol inks turned out. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Any positive comments or feedback, I would be happy to respond to. You guys, the last time I checked, my YouTube subscribers was way up above 315, and that to me is just amazing. So I truly appreciate your support, and I hope that I can bring you guys different content. I hope you like this video, a little DIY. I haven't done one of those in a long time, so... If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And for those who have been supporting my channel, I really appreciate you guys more than you will ever, ever know. Go ahead and check out, there is a collective collab in my video playlist. Go ahead and check that out. Um, it's a little information about me. It's all about who I am. And I will see you guys in my next video.